July is going to be hotter than ever because you get up to $50 off any smartphone at Appalachian Wireless. Two-year agreement required. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. The Johnson County Sheriff's Office vehicle fleet has grown by one thanks to an anonymous donor. Deputy Terry Tussie, who is the region's only animal protection officer, will now be driving this Chevy Tahoe, specifically equipped with most of the things he'll need to respond to potential abuse cases. This will be my everyday vehicle. Yeah, that way there's no having to stop, switch in and out of vehicles. This will be my everyday vehicle. A vehicle he wishes he would have had earlier this month when 32 dogs had to be removed from a home in Flat Gap, a case that involved several rescue groups. That same situation happens again. I can actually take some dogs myself. Uh, we wouldn't have to call so many people out. Deputy Tussie says many counties have animal shelters with employees who can look into calls of alleged animal abuse, but they're not law enforcement officers. And he says there are more calls reporting animal abuse than most people realize. Uh, abuse means many things. Uh, it just doesn't mean going out and beating the animal or whatever, uh, not feeding the animal. Uh, we have a scale that we go by that tells us if the animal's healthy or not. Um, abandonment can be abuse. I mean, if people move off, leave their animal at the, at the other residence, that's abuse. They, they've left their animal there. And with the hot weather we've been experiencing lately, a pet owner can be charged with abuse for not providing their pet with water and shelter. And because of an anonymous donor, Deputy Tussie can now respond to those calls of abuse and rescue those animals much quicker than before. This vehicle is the only animal protection vehicle in eastern Kentucky that I know of. Actually, Johnson County Sheriff's Office is pretty fortunate to have it. Reporting in Paintsville, I'm Shannon Deskins for EKB News.